Hey what's up guys, in today's video I am going to show how to create FTP account and how to use FileZilla account. And before start let me tell you what is FileZilla. FileZilla is an open source software which is used to transfer and download files from the server. And from here this is the official website of the FileZilla, you can download a FileZilla client and this is used for to transfer data. So let's start without wasting any time and please make sure to subscribe my channel for latest programming Android studio and web development tutorials. So let's start. So here you can see this is a cPanel and every cPanel have the FTP account. So I'm going to search here FTP. So here you can see FTP accounts as well as there. I'm going to click on it. So here I'm going to create new FTP account and here I am going to give the username, username will be test and this would be the domain for which I need to transfer and download files. Now I am going to give it passport and here confirm passport and if you scroll down you see the directory. So here I am going to deselect this one because I want to search complete website and here you can see the quota, you can select unlimited create FTP account and before create FTP account you must have to save passport and you have to scroll down and just click on this button so here you can see the host I mean server and the username and the password I already know I am going to copy this one and now I have created the FTP account and now I am going to connect it with the FileZilla you have to click on this button here you can see my all existing projects for which I have connected FTP. You have to click new site and you have to mention the client or the domain name. For example, find gap. And now I am going to click on host, paste the host. This is also called the server name. And here I would like to select FTP because this is not SFTP. This is just FTP. And the default port for the FTP is 21 and here I am going to give username so you can copy the username from there paste it there and here I am going to put the password and for the later use you can paste the password there it will be saved there for the later use and now I am going to click on connect and from there you can create the new folder and you can rename the find gap just like that you can delete this site and you can bookmark and duplicate as well from there you can select the type of login and you can select this encryption type also so this would be the same now I am going to click on connect so first time it will ask this you have to click on this button and then ok it has been connected so by this way you can connect your FTP account and here will be the files that exist in your folder for example for now I have these files so if you right click on it you can see the download option and if I click on download then the files will be download on your PC the exact location like this so you can see you can create directory you can refresh as well as you can delete this file and you can change the file permissions of the file just like that just click on ok and as well as you can edit these files also so if you want to upload your files then you just have to right click and uh, you have to upload just like that so here as you can see it is uploading then it has been uploaded now as you can see file is exist there by clicking this button you can connect both files if you go back your computer file from there then it will go back also there so these were the necessary options of the FileZilla and this is how we can use FileZilla for uploading and downloading content or files or maybe code and guys the huge benefit of using FileZilla for example if you are uploading some code and it has the error then your website will be down and by using FileZilla you can easily delete this file or modify it again on the same time so by this way your website will not down and you can recover it easily and guys I hope you must find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe it Finally, thanks for watching.